This 2018 Porsche Boxster is a rear-wheel drive, mid-engine, six-speed manual transmission with a 2.0-liter, flat four-cylinder, horizontally opposed, turbocharged, duo overhead camshaft Vario Cam Plus Boxster engine. It makes 300 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque. Top track speed is 170 miles per hour. It goes from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. Its fuel consumption is 28 on the highway and 21 around town. It has both a front and rear luggage compartment. This particular car has extra options such as heated and ventilated seats with black leather sports seats plus, heated steering wheel, lane change assist, two-zone climate control, 12-volt charger, Bose surround, Porsche Connect, sports tailpipe in black, 20-inch sport wheels, and it comes in a premium color package of sapphire blue metallic. Hi everyone, this is Heidi. I am in a 2018 Boxster. It's the base model and it's in a sapphire, beautiful sapphire blue color. I really like the color of this car. Now, I really wanted to try a 718 because I wanted to understand all of the hype and talk about the car. A lot of people say that the car handles very, very well, but they are disappointed to lose the flat six sounding engine that the other base models had. So I'm taking this car out for drive. Prestige Imports in Lakewood, Colorado has been nice enough to loan me this car and let me do a review on it and tell you what I think of it. Now, obviously they wouldn't have given me this car if they didn't think that I was gonna enjoy it. I really like the price point of this car and I wanted to check it out. I actually got the car yesterday and it just kept snowing. And I, I thought, you know, <laughs> it's funny. We would always take our Boxster out in the snow and it wouldn't have been a big deal, but this car only has summer tires. So just from a safety perspective, I wanted to make sure that the car was safe. I now have some gorgeous weather. As you can see, there's still snow on the ground around me, which is amazing for mid-April. It's gorgeous now and I have the top down. Now, a lot of people say that these cars are just summer cars. I completely disagree with them. They make great winter driving cars. One of the reasons why they do is that they're a mid-engine car. You can put snow tires on your car and you could pretty much have this as a year round daily driver. In fact, when we had our 987 Boxster, we did put snow tires on that car and we did drive it a lot in the winter. So because of the mid-engine, it's very stable and I do see these Boxsters now and then just driving around daily, even in the snow, they, they, they handle very well. Also, because people think that they're a summer car, they don't opt to put in the heated seats. Now, thankfully, this car does have heated seats and it has a heated steering wheel. I turned it on and it was so warm that I actually didn't even need it. I have been driving this car on twisties right now. I'm taking it up in the mountains and so far it is really handling as I would have expected it to. Mid-engine car, Boxsters really do well. So I really like the way the mid-engine cars handle. This car has loads of power. It's got 300 horsepower. It really is fast. And I have to say that this basically puts it up against, I would say probably a 987 Boxster S in power. You have to go and look at all the specs exactly, but the 987 Boxster is what I used to have. And I would say from a power perspective, it feels pretty good as I'm sitting here right now. You can probably hear me a little bit better. That's one of the things about the Boxster is it's got this built-in windscreen, which is also very nice. Now with our Boxster, we had an option and they may still have the option, I don't know, where we were able to get like an actual piece of glass back there, which is, is great. You never have to worry about your hair getting messed up or anything like that, ladies. So having that windscreen up is really nice. I really like the color of this car. 
So they don't make this color anymore. I don't know if it was just a 2018 thing, but you can no longer spec with this color. Now, if you look at the newer colors, the ones that I really like, that I would want, are probably closer to $2,500. So that's what makes this car a pretty good deal for what it is. I went ahead and spec'd out all the different options on this car. It has the uh, sport wheels, the 20 inch sport wheels. It has heated seats, it has a heated steering wheel. It, uh, I think it comes standard with standard cruise control, but it has the Bose sound system. It has not just the heated seats, but it has like the air conditioned ventilated seats, it has upgraded graded leather. By the time I spec'd all the options out, the car went from $59,000 to probably close to $73,000 by the time you include like the delivery charge. So a good $14,000 more in options. Now, if you're wanting to get into the Porsche line, the Boxster is the place to start. One of the things that I also did was optioned out this car in the S model for a brand new model, and it came to almost $82,000 with all the options with just the extra power, the horsepower for the S model. And I'm not sure if that's really worth it. I'm, I'm finding that this car is handling very well as a base model. Now, normally I would tell people, get the biggest engine that you can afford and the best engine that you can afford. The difference is a 2.0 liter engine versus a 2.5 liter engine turbo for the S model. So you are gonna get a bit of difference in power, but this car is shifting well. It's shifting offline well. It doesn't have any lag. I actually feel more lag with some of the uh, PDK models of Porsches than I do with this manual transmission. So that's one thing that I really like about the manual transmission. It's not naturally aspirated, but it feels a lot more naturally aspirated to me. I don't feel a turbo lag in this car. Now, I could show you the top going up and down. That's one thing that I do like about this car versus say our Mini Cooper that we used to have. Our Mini Cooper Roadster, you couldn't put the top up and down unless you were just driving very, very slowly. This one you obviously can. I don't recommend doing it often. It does actually affect the hinges and the ball joints after a while. Franny and I had to replace, that was one of the first things we had to replace on our 987 Boxster. So I personally, just if you want to keep your Boxster nice, don't recommend doing it. But if you're on the freeway, if you're sitting in rush hour traffic and it's stop and go traffic and you are traveling along and then all of a sudden it's going to just downpour on you, then obviously it's really nice to be able to have the ability to do that while you're moving. There are a lot of changes in this newer Boxster. Everybody on YouTube says, oh, the engine doesn't sound the same. This is a great car. I'm not even noticing the sound of the engine and I really am enjoying it. I can really understand all you 718 owners who watch this channel say that I have to drive it. I can understand that. I can totally understand that. This is a really nice car. It's handling very well around the corners. Well, this car really takes off if you want it to. That was fun. Yeah, this car has some good power. Really good power. Of all of our cars, this reminds me the most of our 993. It really has that light and nimble feeling of our 993. This is really a great car, you guys. I don't know if you're looking and you're thinking about the, the 718 Boxster, but this is a really great car. I am not gonna badmouth the exhaust. It doesn't bother me that much.
And if you really want some exhaust note sound, I would suggest putting an aftermarket AWE on. That's that's the way to go if you're really bummed. But the performance on this car, you can go with an older model uh, Porsche 987. If you're looking for a newer car, you've got the 981 and the 718. But there's going to be a significant difference between the fuel consumption of those two cars. You can opt to get the larger fuel tank, which I would probably recommend, and that this car does have it. I just, I hate having to deal with gas station runs. But I love how Porsche is breaking you in slowly towards the direction of hybrids and electric cars and turbocharged all environmentally better cars and and Porsche's kind of just nicely nudging you. I like this car. I didn't think I'd like it. I really like this car. Okay, let's try this in sport mode. The car seems a little bit more responsive when I put my foot on the throttle. And I'm hearing a bit more sound when it comes to the exhaust system. Yeah, that's significantly different. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, I want to give a big thanks to Prestige Imports, Greg Sunfield and Aaron for getting me into this 718 base model. And a special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Thanks for being with me. Safe travels. Bye.